Hi guys. Happy World No Tobacco Day. I'm celebrating with a, with a pipe. Pretty sure it's not strictly what they had in mind, but what are you gonna do? Smoking it in my Peterson, handmade. With a nice rusticated bowl, rusticated rim rather. Never seen one like this before. Smooth on the side, rusticated around the top. And then I was at the uh, Chicago Pipe Show and this one was being sold. And I couldn't help it. I collect peats, so I had to do it. And in it, I'm smoking Bjarn Viking's William the Conqueror, which I was gifted from a friend, Tom Perkins. And uh, he was generous enough. He had a tin laying around that he'd never smoked. He was going to try it, I think, and gave it up um, to me because he just never got around to it. And uh, he knows I love to try new stuff, so he sent me a bunch of stuff, and this was in it. It's not bad. Um, it's pretty good. I'm uh, on my second bowl. Second or third? I think third. No, second. This is my second bowl. And uh, pretty happy with it. I don't know that I would smoke it all the time, like every day. But I have enough of it now, thank you Tom, that I can just smoke it whenever I want some and I'll never run out. So. The tin's got an interesting little burb, blurb. Burb? Blurb. There we go. William the Conqueror was a British king who was a descendant of the Vikings. This blend, named in his honor, is like him, being both bold and distinctly English. It is brimming with rich black Cyprian Latakia, bright sugary Virginias, and a nice share of exotic Orientals. The birds like Orientals. Oh no, they would have been upset about, they were pretty excited about the Virginias. The result is a robust but remarkably smooth Latakia mixture. I have to agree, it's not heavy. But I wouldn't call it light. However, it's got a pretty good helping of Latakia. Um, mostly though, it's kind of sweet and savory. Pretty good. I like it a lot. I typically gravitate more towards the Balkany blends. I like the earthy, smoky combination, but this is not bad. It's sweet, which is a good change of pace for me because mostly what I smoke isn't that sweet. And there's no room here for me to tell you the room note, so I'll just say that the tin note smelled pretty good. Um, not too strong, but not not too wimpy. <laughs> not too weak. Men smoke strong tobacco. It's good. You should try it. If you, uh, if you like Englishes, it's definitely worth trying out. I'm actually probably going to gift some of it back. Not a whole lot, because I do like it. Uh, but I'm probably going to gift some of it back to its original sender, along with some stuff that I think he might like. Um, just because because I think he should try it. Um, he paid for it. He might as well get an opportunity to try it, right?
very smooth, not harsh. What was that? I don't know what that was. So, uh, through the nose just now. What am I getting? It's not chocolate. It's kind of bourbony? No, that's not it. I don't know. It's good. Whatever it is. As soon as I hit pause or stop or whatever, I'm going to be like, oh, this is what it was. Such is life. But it's good. It's truly good. Um, I pick up a tin. I've tried some of their other stuff. Um, all their aromatics. Oh. Boy, Eric the Red. I tried some of that, and that was like Robitussin. Oh. It's gross. It was really bad. So they have two or three other blends that, apart from William the Conqueror, they've got Eric the Red, St. Olaf, and another aromatic, Howling Fjord. That doesn't sound right. How, no, it, is it Howling? It's something to do with wind. Odin's Wind. That's what it is. Odin's Wind. I knew it had something to do with wind or howling or something. Odin's Wind. Yeah, so I've tried it. And I gotta tell you, the wind is taking me, taking my hair out here. I gotta tell you, I don't know what Odin's Wind was supposed to taste like, but it was very interesting. <clears throat> I don't like aromatics, typically. I didn't hate that. I didn't like it either. It was very... I don't even know what the word I would use. It's been so long. I thought I was never going to get the ghost out of the pipe I smoked it in, though. Wolf. If you like aromatics, give it a try. But for me, I'm going to stick with the, uh, the English mixtures. Anyway, just wanted to celebrate a little uh, no tobacco day with you guys. Most guys come out come out on this day and they're like, I'm going to smoke 30 pipes today or whatever because don't tell me how to live my life. And that's kind of how I feel too. Um, but by the same token, you know, things like this do have a point. And the point that I'm getting from it is that I try to take from everything is your life is your life. If World No Tobacco Day is the day for you to get together with your pipe smoking and cigar smoking buddies and smoke pipes and smoke cigars and enjoy them and laugh and talk and bash the FDA or whatever it is you do in these sessions, do it. Do it gladly with gusto. Don't half-ass it. Give it your full-throated support. Smoke your pipes, smoke your cigars, have your laughs, and enjoy it. And if you're a cigarette smoker, and cigarette smoking helps you relax and you get any kind of enjoyment out of it, then smoke some cigarettes today. Enjoy it. Not that you wouldn't smoke cigarettes anyway. If you were going to smoke them, we would need a holiday, right? I just had a bug on my arm, if, that's, if you're wondering what that strange motion was. I don't taste good. Get away from me. Is that a tree worm? It is. It's a silkworm. Okay. Sorry. I know this is kind of dorky. But. Check that guy out. He's also celebrating. Let him do his thing. Back to. As you were, silkworm. Gotta love the woods. Anyway, NF Today is an excuse for you to not smoke cigarettes because you're trying to quit 
or pipes or cigars because you really want to stop smoking, then more power to you. Do what you want. Don't let somebody else tell you what you want. Do what you want and enjoy it. Life's too short, you know. Make your own decisions. You regret the things you didn't do more than the things you did. You can trust me on that. Take it to the bank. Life lessons from Brian, okay? Anyway, that's all I wanted. Just wanted to put this out here and wish everybody a happy No Tobacco Day or whatever it is for you. I'm going to finish this, this bowl of William the Conqueror. I might smoke another one, honestly. It's pretty good. It's pretty damn good, so... Have a good one, guys.